today it's Friday and it is our Friday wine day. Um, and because we are under quarantine and we cannot go out and tour a winery, we invited Akash Patel from Akash Winery and Vineyards to come and chat with us today and share some information about his winery. And we are drinking some of his rosé today, and we'll talk to you about that. But thanks so much, uh, Akash, for joining us. Thank you for having me. Appreciate the opportunity. Hey, so one of the questions we wanted to ask you is, we saw that you guys have been here for about 10 years. What made you and your family pick Temecula? What made it so special to choose that to be your place for your vineyards? Uh, well, it started back in 2000. Uh, we come from the motel business and my parents have been doing that since the 80s. And that's what drove us to um, Temecula. We were in New Mexico. That's where my parents started their kind of American dream story. And uh, in the year 2000, we actually moved out to California. My dad said, okay, well, we got to figure out a business or a motel business out here. So we were actually going to purchase a motel here in Temecula. We had moved to Orange County and everyone said, you know, the 15, it's growing, you know, look for something along that 15 freeway. So my dad started looking for motels and then he found one here in Temecula. And we were going to actually purchase the Holiday Inn Express that was right here on, on Jefferson. And my dad was... Was, I mean a signature or two away from owning the property and then some stuff happened and one door shut and with that my dad saw a shut door but then others opened with the way his brain works he started coming out here so much that he was already a big wine lover and saw the little mini wine country that had kind of erupted back then it was you know only five or six wineries he saw well why can't we maybe put some kind of lodging in wine country and do wine tastings you know that's what uh south coast did ponte was doing yeah. so he, he kind of saw that and he brought home a painting one day after all this kind of stuff kind of uh, mellowed down and said and bought a painting of a vineyard and he had just finished building a motel in new mexico and he took a picture of that that uh motel pasted it onto that painting and hung it up in our living room and that was his inspiration to say one day let's get towards this goal. So we started looking for uh, different opportunities of pieces of land that fit our criteria that we needed to be able to do what we wanted to do. And then in uh, 2010, after 10 years of looking for land, we finally found this parcel of land that we are sitting on now that we've been developing and it was just dirt when we bought it. Very cool. And you're off of, um, just for everybody who hasn't been to Akasha's Winery, it is on Calle Contento, right off of uh, Rancho California Road on the main wine trail here in Temecula. And really the reason, Akash, that we started doing these uh, wine videos is that we want to share with other people what we love about Temecula and why it is that you would want to move here. I mean, we've been real estate agents here in the Valley for over 15 years. And we work with people within our community, but we also want to share about our community to other people. What we like about it as well. What we love about yeah. it here. And one of the things is just really stepping out of day-to-day -day reality and being able to go wine tasting or just driving to the wineries. So tell us, um, when someone comes to your winery, what is the wine tasting experience there, because I know you're a little different. You're not just step up to the bar and drink wine. So tell us about the wine tasting experience when they come to your winery. Uh, well, we definitely have that option where you can just come taste at the bar. So we do have that standard tasting experience. Uh, okay. But we also have um, lots of lounge seating for our club members to kind of hang out and enjoy inside and also on the outside patio uh, to enjoy their wines and do their tastings and have a comfortable seat. And then they can go up to the bar and grab their next tasting or just have their glass or bottle in um, like a beautiful setting instead of standing everywhere. Right. I know that's what we liked about yeah, we like it. The bar we a lot. liked it. And then yeah. um, the service that you have people helping you bring wine to the table. Yes, yeah, we have servers that'll come to your table, yeah. Yeah, so today we're drinking your Parlez-vous, is it Parlez-vous? Rosé. Parlez-vous Rosé. Parlez Rosé. Yep. Um, <laughs> and that is, I think, one of your signature wines right now, or tell us about your variety of wines, because we came to you because we love reds. And we have yeah. a friend who works for you, so she recommended us. So we, yeah, Carrie. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. So that's what got us to you, and we were like, this is great. And we love the wines, and we've been back a couple times, and we thought we'd have you promote your, your best wines and what you like. Yeah, so um, on the property, we grow Sauvignon Blanc, Petit Syrah, Zinfandel, Cabernet Sauvignon, Cab Franc. 
And then from there, we make the different arrangements of wines. Um, we make our uh, rosé from our Zinfandel varietal. And then we do everything 100% varietal based. And then we have one red blend currently. And then just a, a few months right before we did this whole shutdown thing, we had actually started bringing in some fruit from outside that our winemaker still manages those vineyards. And we started making wine from those varietals. So we also have a Malbec from a vineyard out in Warner Springs. And then another Syrah as well and a Cabernet Sauvignon from a different vineyard. That's what we drink. We, we drank night. that last night. We, yeah. we <laughs> two bottles yesterday. We drank Cabernet um, because that's one of the reasons that we came to you for the first time was for your reds, and we love yeah. it. But today it's really hot, and we're probably starting to sweat right now because we're outside, <laughs> um, but we're enjoying the rosé today. One of the things um, that we love about being local, and for those people wanting to move to Temecula, you can participate in the weekday events that you that all the wineries have. And I yep. know you've got music and food trucks and yoga even. So tell us what you're doing with that. Okay, so on a, a normal operating uh, time frame. Outside of, <laughs> outside of this normal right now, yeah. Uh, we do a Taco Tuesday every Tuesday from 4 to 8 p.m. where we have Taps Taco Catering come out and their family-owned business here in Temecula kind of starting up. So they, they provide the taco experience and we provide the wine and we're open a little bit later. On Fridays and Saturdays, we're also open until 8 p.m. and we do live music. And then we also have food trucks, different food vendors, as well as Taps Tacos. But then we have Nora's Epanadas and a few other vendors that come out and they alternate throughout the weekends uh, on those later nights and then we also have live music on Sundays so every day on Friday Saturday Sunday we have live music well that's good to know because oftentimes at five o'clock you're kind of wondering you know who's yeah, now right. so that is a good thing for those people who you know as realtors at five o'clock you're yeah. looking to see what winery is open so we know we can come to you yeah and then we're, we're kind of a healthy lifestyle brand so we do incorporate yoga we have a yoga wine club membership and you can also just do the yoga classes all the cart we do them every other week once on a saturday once on a sunday and then we alternate through two different instructors so um, another fun little thing that we have going on here as well. That's, Very cool. that's really neat. What's the future? Um, did I read that you're going to, you know, work to have a restaurant, gaining your motel background, have, have lodging there? What's your future? Yeah, so uh, we are in works of developing a 40-room resort uh, that will include um, 40 luxurious rooms, a uh, nice spa, a restaurant, a um, couple lounges, and a pool and spa. That's going to be Very great. Cool. What is that? A uh, how many? I mean, what's your long-term vision timeline look like? Well, there's a lot of steps in developing a property since we started from scratch with this. Um, we still have a lot of infrastructure to bring to that part of our property, but uh, just today we finished grading the land for it. So we had previously planted everything out on our property and we slowly carved out as we needed space. And uh, when uh, this past two seasons, we've been removing the vineyard that was occupying our space for the bed and breakfast. And after all this rain we got, we knew it was the right time to start moving the dirt. Although given the circumstances of shutting down, we, we me and my dad just looked at each other and said, look, let's just go through with it. Let's get the dirt graded get the flat pad see our available space and then start working with the architects to move forward with uh, what the buildings are going to look like and um, kind of get everything dialed down. Since I kind of have a little bit of extra time right now to focus on that stuff versus the day-to-day -day business. Yeah. So we have um, moved forward. Sorry, I'm getting a couple calls and I did it on my That's phone. That's okay. That's um, okay. Yeah, and uh, yeah, so we, we are um, pretty much done with the pad for it now. And now it's time to go to the drawing board and get all the plans done and get it over to the county and hopefully... Uh, we can get that done, you know, in the next six months and maybe by next year we'll see some construction going. Yeah. So two years, two, two and a half years, you know, we're hoping to get this thing up and going. Okay. That's so cool. Okay. We, we've been out here 17 years and boy, have things changed with all of these wineries, you know, everyone. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's, it's amazing and it's great. I love it. So um, just to wrap it up, again, thank you so much. Tell us right now how we can pick up your wine. What's your hours? What is business doing right now so we can still have wine from you? Okay, well, currently with all the stuff going on, we have um, free delivery when you purchase three bottles or more. Uh, you can do, we'll deliver it to your home if you're within a 20 mile radius for free, or we'll ship it to you for free if you're outside of that radius anywhere in the United States. Are you hiring oh. drivers? <laughs> We've got two teenagers that need to work. <laughs> right, I've been, I've been doing all the deliveries and one other person Get works your hands for dirty so in been, there, Akash. Yeah, <laughs> so we're doing that. We're stationed over at the Naughty Pig Butcher Shop. That's a local butcher shop here in Tomato. 
Temecula and Marietta uh, every day from 12 to 3. We have the lovely Carrie at one of the locations and our other server's gym at the other location. Uh, so you can just go pick up a bottle there or you can come to the winery. We're open every day from 1 to 3 at the winery. And then we also are still partnering up with Taps Taco Catering. So on Tuesdays and on Saturdays, you can order a taco kit and a bottle of wine and they'll deliver everything to your home. And then same with uh, Grazing Theory. If you wanted a charcuterie board, you can get a bottle of wine with it too and get it delivered to your home. And then we've also partnered up with Pretty Paints. They're a nonprofit organization out here. And um, you can do uh, paint kits. You can purchase them from us here and take a bottle of wine too. Or on Saturdays, we do drive through. So we have a donut uh, company. We have our wine and then we have Pretty Paint kits. And then they always bring cool little like kind of interaction, a um, little bit of an experience while you're doing the drive through. So not only can you stop and get all these things to go, but uh, the first weekend they had um, a couple people dress up in dinosaur costumes and little fun outing for the kids. And the, kids in the, the next weekend office. they did the Nightmare Before Christmas and they had Jack Skellington out there and um, one of the other characters, a funny one from that movie. And this weekend we actually have a, a real llama and an alpaca coming tomorrow. And they're going to, so you can see some farm animals while you're out here. And the next weekend we'll be doing um, some other stuff. And we have a mother, we have a Star Wars theme coming and then a Mother's Day theme coming after. So just kind of being and fun and creative. Yeah. yeah. Well, see, for everybody who is thinking about coming to Temecula or moving to Temecula, see all these cool things that we have going on here. Um, this oh, yeah. is why we're sharing this video. And did you have any other questions? Yeah, I think we've hit it all. We, we appreciate it. We want to get back to drinking wine. I, th I think <laughs> we hit it on the head. You know, one thing that we've noticed about a lot of the wineries is they gear to kids. I mean, obviously the kids can't drink, but they can run around and have fun. And that's what makes yeah. Temecula such a great place. It's, it's so family oriented. Oh, yes. Yeah. So, well, thank you so much. And thank, thank you, everybody, for watching. I'm Lori. I'm Matt. And we're with the Kutka team at Big Block Realty. And we want to show to you all the fun things that living in Temecula has to offer. And we can definitely help you find a great home. We are 17 years here in the community and 15 years selling real estate. So we have all the resources for you. And we hope to introduce you to more great people and great wineries. Um, and thanks so much, Akash. Thank you. Appreciate the opportunity. Thank you. Cheers. Happy Cheers. Friday. Happy Friday.